You with the second sight, I mean. Don't look to me for help. My duty is to guard. I just want a moment's peace. Take over my brother's shift today. Sure as the sun goes. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your claim. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about her son. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was... Ayland Forgeman, does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Uh, yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Errand, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious. Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother, and she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. Let's have a chat. No, a colorful discussion. What did you want to talk about? You were an outlander, no? An adventurer. I used to be one myself. I admit, I miss the beguiling colors of the wilds. Speaking of which, I wonder if you've come across a very special kind of flower. It's made of metal, like a machine. Other blossoms grow around them in amazing patterns. 
These gleaming beauties are very much in demand among my clients. If you bring me some, I have valuables to trade for them. You said you were an adventurer. Just so. The nobles of Meridian crave flowers for their balconies and gardens. So out I went, with bow and spear. I made my name by searching the wilds for the wildest blossoms. No bandit nor machine could keep me from those precious petals. So what happened? Love happened, my sweet. My paramour frets too much when I venture out. So now I collect flowers for those without such bonds. Is it worth it? Being restrained like that? Of course. Freedom is sweet. But the embrace of my beautiful Theridine is sweeter still. These metal flowers, what are they exactly? No one knows. But some say they began sprouting 20 years ago when the machines started to go mad. Perhaps they grow from the tears of the sun, for he has many faces, does he not? Wrathful one day, cool and patient the next? Perhaps he weeps for our suffering when his anger breaks. Ah, let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. Till we meet again, my noble Nora, could you spare a moment to speak of the finer things? That must be the spire. It's huge. Adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. This is the place. You home, Durva? I got a surprise for you. a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb goes off, if that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Derval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's gotta be a way to stop it. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. Maybe there's some way I can open this window to get rid of the fuel for the bomb. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Uh. Best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This is a river. Derval said he'd make a VOD watch. No way. 
To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. Now that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. If he tries for the palace, he's finished. tracks with just a bit of blaze in them did you hear that blast are we under attack can i interest you in a reasonable share of a lucrative opportunity won't find better wares Business. what happened i haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation everyone needs a splash of color in their lives come We'll Let's talk it over. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. This must be where Durval assembled the detonator. He tunneled through the wall. Durval did find a way into the palace. I need this. Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian, Avad. Breathe in the stench. Choke on the ashes. Something's wrong in... I, I didn't hear anything. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belch from a charcoal burner! Yeah, 
this is useful. What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Fear the power of the why does Avad always have his ladies do the fighting? <laughs> this. I've got a sun gun. I've led an army. Killed Kestrels, Ravagers, Assassins is nothing. Can we finish this? I've got a son to kill. to get loud.
I'd have to ditch something. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Were you and Ursa, you know? I suppose it's obvious how I feel, how I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. But we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osiram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Dervo. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. What exactly will happen to Derval? For now... 
He'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Asaram devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste. Durval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You're strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I, I could use someone like you at my side. Thank you for the offer, but... I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's gonna take me far from Meridian. Well, of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman, just as Ursa was. But please, remember that you're always welcome here. I hope that today is just a sunrise for us. Not a goodbye. It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. You gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do, right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Yeah, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for errand vanguardsmen? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan, and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit-chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. <laughs> she likes me. <laughs> <laughs>